Hey guys, it's Mashinka, back again for another video. How y'all doing? What it is? What's up? Um, as you can read by the title, we are doing another review of the NYX um, Honey Do Me, Do Me Up Primer. I found this guy at Target. It was $16.99 at Target and it's $17 on the NYX side, so just a cent difference. Um, I was at Target, just browsing, looking what's new, what it is, what's up? And I found this guy on the shelf, and I was really intrigued. Now again, it is $16.99, which is definitely up there in price for a high-end product. It has the um, main ingredients that are in this guy are honey, gold flakes, and collagen. Um, honey for a natural antiseptic, gold flakes increase skin radiance, and collagen for smoother skin. So I saw that and I was so intrigued that I decided to de dedicate a whole video on this guy. So I'm gonna read some of the claims and description about this guy on the NYX site. <clears throat> I almost choked there. <clears throat> Inspired by Honey's Golden Glow, we developed a primer, primer, that neutralizes the appearance of discoloration and redness. Our innovative light reflective gold flex create a luminous look that will help keep your skin looking radiant all day. On the NYX website, it has 4.4 stars out of 5 um, with 114 reviews. So people seem to like it a lot. So I'm just kind of ready to find out what it's all about. So I'm ready to try this on. Um, again, this is what it looks like. It's a small little bottle. It's glass. So $16.99 for a glass bottle with honey and gold flakes. Um, I'm ready to try it and I haven't opened it yet. Uh, it still has a little plastic thing around it Okay, so it has a plastic spatula to put on your face Which I really like so you don't you know put your fingers all over your face. It has a spatula It smells like a flower and perfumey at the same time. It doesn't smell like honey. I'm sure everyone knows what honey smells like. It does not smell like honey. It definitely smells... It smells like um, a type... Uh, I don't know what it's called. Um, a type of like leaf, a type of plant, but it doesn't smell really... It doesn't smell bad at all. Um, it has um, 0.776 fluid ounces, which is 22 milliliters, which is a lot. Are we ready? I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little. Um, let's. All right. Um, I'm. I'm just gonna. I'm going in with the primer and I'm gonna put it on this side of my face. Okay. So it has a very cooling sensation. Not sure exactly how much to put, but again, it said it's supposed to get rid of your redness, and I have redness, you know, everywhere. A lot of discoloration. So, I guess we're gonna have to see. It is super oily. Okay, so it's super slimy. I'm not really sure how your foundation is supposed to, you know, go on it. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to let it dry before I put foundation on because my foundation foundation is just not gonna work with this primer if it's not dry. But you can use it as a face serum as well. So I just put it on. Do we notice a difference? A little bit maybe on camera this side is much redder than this oh I have a little gold fleck right here you guys probably can't see it it's super tiny there's like one little is it real gold though you know what this reminds me of the whole gold flag there's this um, primer that Jeffree Star and Jacqueline Hill love to use it's like this really expensive primer that has gold flecks in it and when I first saw it that's what it reminded me of and I was like yes I need to get it do we notice a difference on this side of my face and this? Like a little bit, I feel like it looks definitely a little more luminous. Um, did it get rid of my redness? A little. I'm gonna give it that. Um, not as much redness. My pores are still there. I have huge pores, so they're still intact. Alright, so um, let's go in with a foundation. Okay, maybe that's just me, but I feel like this side of my face became a little more matte. So I'm gonna go in with my one of my favorite foundations, which is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. Alright, so 
I uh, blended the foundation on this side of my face with the primer. Looks pretty good. Again, no primer on this side. Okay, there's definitely a huge difference. Um, there's still a lot of redness peeking through on this side without a primer. It's starting to stick to my dry patches and over here, the foundation blended out beautifully. No dry patches. I feel like my pores got a little smaller. I don't think you can see my pores in camera because pores in general you know, are small, but I can see them. I feel like the foundation just really worked with it. I'm gonna go in with concealer. So concealer is done. Do we notice a difference between this side and this side? I zoomed you guys in a little closer just so you can maybe see the difference. I haven't set my under eyes, don't worry. I'll also do that. So this is the side with the um, primer. This is without primer. I definitely feel a difference. Uh, you might not see a difference, but I definitely feel it. My skin is much more moisturized and um, the foundation blended out beautifully because the primer, it made it so sticky. My skin feels way more moisturized and luminous. Um, but with the foundation, uh, this foundation is supposed to be luminous, it says Lumi, but I feel like this primer mattified it a little bit, maybe that's just me. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my makeup. So far, I feel a, I feel like a huge difference on this face, like on this side of the face, like I feel, I feel it working and honestly, I think it looks freaking bomb. I think this side of my face looks way better. Alright guys, we are back. I finished my makeup, as you can see. Um, you know, just a little powder, a little foundation, a little highlighter, a little glow. Um, I didn't notice any, like, problems um, when I was putting on my makeup or the powder. Um, nothing was, like, super sticky and my skin here, I mean, I have no primer and my skin feels so dry, like, and over here it feels so smooth. And here's another thing that I've noticed, my skin on this side feels hot. And not the type of hot where like, oh my god, I'm burning, it's burning, it hurts. More like a very, very, you know those icy cold, icy hot patches, icy hot patches? How like you put it on and it's really, really hot but it feels so good. Um, but it's not burning, you know what I mean, you know what, this is what it feels like, it's not hot, I, my face doesn't feel super hot, but it feels warm and, but very massage, like, like, my skin feels so refreshed right now, um, when I first put it on, it definitely had, like, a cooling sensation, and now it's turning more into, like, a warmer sensation, um, let me zoom you guys in, we're getting close and personal. Alright, so on this side of my face, I feel like on camera and in life, it looks really good. I, there are no dry patches, it feels super luminous, it looks really great. Honestly, my skin does not look that great all the time. And over here, it looks good, I made it work, but my skin feels super dry. And I do have pores coming out. Um, actually, right under my eye, you probably can see it, I'm starting to get some dry patches. Um, but over here, I mean, everything is so smooth. Is it just me or do you guys see the difference? Like even the, uh, how I blended my bronzer, blush and highlights, you can, it's so harsh, but over here it all kind of melts together. Is that just me? No, right? Like over here, everything is just kind of melting together and like natural. All right guys, it is currently uh, 3.15. So I'm gonna say like, the application was around 2.30, 2.45 um, when I first put on the primer, but it's currently 3.15, I'm gonna do another, ch I'm gonna do a check-in in, uh, you know, in a few hours just to show you guys how long my makeup has lasted, um, and if I notice any differences or if I see something happening, I'm gonna be like, yo, check this shit out, but for, but yeah, I'll see you guys later in the day, peace out, have a great day, I'm gonna see y'all later. Bye! Hey guys, I'm back with a checkup. It is around 8 o'clock right now, like 7.45ish, and it's still, the sun is setting, 
surprisingly it's still light enough for me to film. Oh, and it's been roughly like four hours. A little more than four hours since um, application. Um, so this is the side with the primer. Um, it looks good. I've noticed that um, after I did my makeup, my face felt sticky. Not like bad sticky, but like because of the honey, it felt it felt quite sticky. Um, it looks good. I have no like um, dry patches. My makeup looks surprisingly freaking awesome on this side and then on that side um it doesn't look bad excuse my dog um on this side there's a lot more dry patches my face feels really dry um the makeup and the powder sunk into the pores over here you probably can't see it i have dry patches under my eyes and uh, my left lines, the powder starting to crease as well as up here. And it's just, honestly, I don't feel the makeup looks as, like I said, blended as over here. But um, I, I can feel the difference. I don't think there's a huge drastic difference when you look at me, but I can feel the difference. And so is this a complete bullshit item or is this a pretty good item honestly i'd say it's pretty awesome especially if you use it a lot and if you use it as a serum as well and if you have really dry skin i think this is awesome um because i do feel the difference is it life changing oh my gosh i'm gonna use it every single day i can't live without it mm, i don't know yet this is my first time trying so i'll definitely be trying it more and seeing how i like it but so far, I'm a huge fan. My makeup looks absolutely amazing. I really love it. I did get a little oily up here, um, but it's not that bad. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I actually did enjoy this product. It smells amazing. And I love the packaging. And my face feels really hydrated. I think that's the main point, that my face feels extremely hydrated like extremely hydrated you can't i don't think you can see like i said the major difference but my face feels very hydrated it feels very soft um no pores no anything and yeah um i definitely think you should try it uh i definitely think primers are something to invest in because it is what protects your skin it is what prepares your skin for the makeup that you're gonna wear the entire day um, I'm, I definitely enjoyed this. This is one of the better primers that I own. I have a lot of primers and this is definitely going to be one I'm going to be playing with a lot. Again, thank you guys so much for um, checking me out. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like it. And subscribe. I have two videos coming out per week. One Monday or Tuesday and then another one uh, on Friday. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.